Happy New Year, my GVO family. Another brand new year. I'm grateful that you made it to see another year. 2023 is here and I'm starting it off with an absolute banger, a video that is going to be the longest video I've ever posted on this channel just to make sure I show you guys the love you've been showing me. I'm going to make sure that y'all get right. All right. We spill all of the secrets around here. All right. So don't tell y'all man give me nothing unless you want him to tell everybody. Bruh. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> But I help y'all out. That's what I do, man. I'm grateful that you got to see another year. One thing I will say going into this new year is I know y'all have a lot of these goals. It's great to set goals. It's great to, to plan ahead, even though we don't know. We, we plant seeds not knowing what tomorrow brings. You make these goals to have the mindset that you're going to show up no matter what. I have limitless takeoff cord on pretty much 99% of my build. There's no doubt in my mind. If it's not cord on this build right here, I'm going to send everybody that watched this video $100. That's how sure I am. Watch this. Moment of truth. What I tell you, run me my hundred. Give me that hundred dollars. All right. Give me that hundred dollars. There it is. Right. I also have Hall of Fame Agent 3's cord. This is my 6 2 IRL build, even though it's on the juice. Agent 3's Hall of Fame. Hand us for days. You see the trend, right? Guess what? That's one. Look how delayed this game is. I'm pressing and it won't even press. You got to be kidding me, man. Whew. This game will run up your blood pressure if you're not careful, dog. Where you see this court? Where did you see the build load in next to the J. Cole court? Check this out real quick. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to coring these badges. Some of y'all don't have badges court on your only build. I have them court on almost every single build I have. The ones that matter, obviously. And you see the trend. Anything under 6'9", anything that has these tier 3 badges. Limitless takeoff. Agent 3s. Handles for days. Those are the easiest badges to core for tier 3 for guards. All right. I can't say that enough. The easiest. It doesn't matter which of these you core. You want to core the one that you can get on the highest level and the one that's easy because it's going to amount to the same amount of badge points being freed up. So it don't matter which one you choose. Smarter, not harder, right? I core limitless takeoff first because it's easier than poster. It's faster than poster, right? And guess what? I core agent threes because it's easier than limitless range, even though limitless range is super easy to core. And handles for days is the easiest to core. And this is also the six nines tier three. So this right here is universal. Handles for days is the easiest playmaking badge to core. It's the fastest one to core. Now, when it comes to defense, anchor always going to be the easiest to core clamps always going to be the easiest to core so at this point in the video you want to know how to core i'm breaking this video into sections all right it's going to be a long video because if you don't want to see a certain section skip to the section you want we're going to start it off with the limitless takeoff all right because i know a lot of guards want to know how to core that limitless takeoff the first thing you need to assess is what is your dunk i'm going to have a chart on the screen right now of the dunk packages you need for your dunk rating right if you have a 96 dunk like me on this build, which is the only build I have above a 90 dunk, you're going to have access to pretty much every dunk in this game. The dunks for a 96 dunk or anything above a 89, you're literally only going to need three dunks. I have a lot equipped because I've already cored it, but I'm going to show you the three dunks you need. Cockback Tomahawks, Michael Jordan. This is going to be the number one necessity if you have an 89 dunk or above. This is the easiest dunk to core limitless takeoff off. The easiest. And then Drexler. That's going to be the best two dunks right here. And Cockback Tomahawks, you're going to have limitless takeoff pop up in the top right of your screen. The top right of your screen is going to be a best friend when you're coring badges. If the badge does not pop up in the top right of the screen, it means you're not coring it. You need to make sure you have some SIGs on that's going to help you get to the rim faster. Depending on your build, if you have a build that has a 75 speed with ball or above, go ahead and use Michael Jordan. If you cannot get Michael Jordan dribble style, use Gabby William. Now make sure your dunk package is equipped. I have the name Hall of Fame Limitless. And let's show you guys in this section of the video what you're going to need to do to core Limitless Takeoff. When I cord Limitless Takeoff on this build, I have it recorded and I'm about to show you how to do it right now doing the same exact steps. So we rewind when the build was an 87 overall. You see, the build was an 87 overall. I'm telling you, look at it right now. This was pre-recorded because I know the GVO family was going to want to know the best methods out there. First of all, I'm going to show you guys how close it was to getting cord. Pay attention. 
this was how close I was to getting a cord. And literally, I was doing this in a few hours. All right. People, even my brother Robo was like, how are you corn it that fast? Well, I got the methods for you. I already told you all the dunk packages needed. Make sure you have the badge equipped. You see, I already have Agent 3's cord. I can't even put it on gold yet. Right. I already have a sitting core. I can't even put it on gold yet. And the same thing goes for handles for days. I can't even put all of these these badges on gold yet, but I got them cord already because I know the methods. Call this the yard core method, all right? Right now I have the killer combos cord, but it don't matter, all right? So anchor is pretty much cord already as well. As you can see, rebound chaser, pretty much cord already. Off ball pass, pretty much cord already. Now, when we jump into the actual game, if you want a core limitless takeoff faster, do me a favor. Put on double easy blow buys if you have mamba mentality already if you just got the game you probably don't have mamba mentality already make sure you do your chris brickley workouts you got to do like 14 of them do the easy method and do the hard ones after that you'll get the mamba mentality now you see all i'm doing is running and you see limitless takeoff popped up in the top right if it doesn't pop up in the top right that means you didn't get a limitless takeoff core progression dribble at half court wait till everybody gets out your way then once everybody gets out of your way find a way around the defender however you do it then hold the right stick either diagonally up or straight to the side it depends on whichever feels comfortable for you i fluctuate when i go diagonally up i typically get a, t a cock back or an mj dunk when i go straight to the side i usually get a straight arm tomahawk or go diagonally up to the opposite hand and you get the mj as well but if you want to just be safe every time go diagonally up and you will dunk it every single time, even without stamina. This is for the limitless takeoff method. Now, a lot of y'all probably don't have Hall of Fame limitless takeoff. It's a rare badge to have on a guard build. I know that. So if you have an 85 dunk, use the cockback tomahawks and go diagonally up. As soon as you get past the defender, start holding the right stick. As soon as you get around that dotted line area, if you only have it on gold, all right? Because you need an 86 dunk to get gold limitless takeoff. So if you have it on gold, you want to start dunking from the dotted line. If you have it from Hall of Fame, start dunking from the free throw line. And if you have it on silver, start dunking a little bit around the dotted line area. Just a little bit around it. You know, I would say gold, you can take off a little bit in between the dotted line and the free throw line. So it's going, you have to find that sweet spot. Now, it's anything below Hall of Fame, I don't recommend trying to do it if you have complete drained your stamina all right if you have some stamina left you're gonna get the dunk but hall of fame limitless takeoff it don't matter if you have zero stamina or not you're gonna dunk the ball all right it's just the beauty of the badge right it, it's insane you're gonna take off you're gonna be flying and what you're gonna be doing is in one npc game that literally takes i'd say an average of five to six minutes you're gonna get more progression for limitless takeoff than you do probably playing in park for 10 games because you're gonna do this every single time and in part they like to help in the paint so it's kind of hard to get this every single time and if you play park you want to get threes you want to have fun you want to do other things there's other people to involve when you're playing this court right here there's nobody but you so literally most of the time i don't even play defense i just sit right there i'm watching netflix or something i'm watching a documentary i'm watching some you know i'm um, doing my devotion or something and i'm just grinding i'm in grind mode because it gets repetitive it gets boring so find something to do listen to music whatever you want to do watch somebody stream and just run and dunk the ball like i know y'all like to do anyways offline and online i know all y'all do is just run to the rim and dunk y'all don't want to shoot no threes see right here no stamina i'm dunking on them right this is all i did to core limitless takeoff on hall of fame and gold and silver and if you have it only on bronze i feel bad for you because bronze don't really mean nothing silver is when it really starts to kick in and gives you the quick drops the good quick drops and it gives you the good animations for drexler and all that stuff silver is where it starts to kick in good you can get away with silver but if you have gold or hall of fame you know what i'm talking about it is a big difference gold and hall of fame makes it insanely better right you pretty much become unstoppable especially if you already have a cord and you have poster now you will barely ever miss a dunk and you can take off literally from uganda all right so you see i finished up a game where i dunked pretty much 99 percent of the time i dunked the ball and if it wasn't a dunk it was a layup right and i didn't court a badge right here but you're gonna see the progression it moves up a lot right let me show you right now i'll go back to show you the progression of what i got back then 
I'm pretty much at the end. I'm two games away from it, but I'm going to go ahead and skip to the final game for you guys so you can see what I did. And this is against the hardest person that you're going to go against. This this guy right here with the beanie has the best defense out of any of these NPCs. He will clump your stuff up. He will block you at the rim. Shoot, he'll even rip you. It's hard to get around him. And not only that, you're going to have to deal with J. Cole playing like a random running around and you know all this foolishness so if you can't get a limitless takeoff don't waste the possession shoot the ball or something like i did right there get some other badges now right here you see what i'm talking about he has that elite defense so you have to be careful you got to know what you're doing bro right there didn't give me a limitless takeoff dunk remember the way to know if you're getting limitless takeoff is if it pops up in the top right that's how you know if you're coring it if it doesn't pop up in the top right and sometimes it takes a little while to pop up. You see, boom, it popped up right there. If it doesn't pop up, that means you're not coring a dang thing, all right? So make sure it pops up. If it doesn't pop up, it's not working, all right? Now, this is, like I said, this guy is the hardest to get it against. And they would put it, put me against him literally for the final game. Let's just show you guys the coring of Limitless Takeoff before we move on to Agent 3s, which is going to be needed. Let me show you this real quick. You see, I got 21 points. Wait for it. Boom. See that? Limitless takeoff court on Hall of Fame. I courted out of 87 overall, where my attributes wasn't even up enough to, to really even take the build to a park. I already got the build cored. Cored out, pretty much. Maxed out with the badges, them. I told you guys the method already to max badges two videos ago. And now this is the method. The method. The method. The quarter badge. And you see, I'm going to court right now. I'm showing you guys what I did. I cored it. Boom, press triangle, and now you can core it. Now, real quick, as I put this gold poster on, do not, because I made this, this this mistake. My boy Robo was like, yo, Yagman, try to um dunk with MJ from the free throw line with gold limitless takeoff. And I was doing it and showing him. When I tried to go back and core limitless takeoff, it wouldn't let me core it no more. So once you core limitless takeoff on Hall of Fame, do not go and core any other level of the badge and play with it because you're gonna have to do whatever level you start off coring so if i cored silver i would have to grind back to gold and hall of fame leave the core badge alone all right don't make that same mistake because i had to literally grind back to hall of fame from gold and it's a grind okay so you have hall of fame limitless takeoff method you have the hall of fame limitless takeoff method now now you need to know how to core agent threes Agent 3s is the easiest shooting badge to core. The easiest because you don't even have to fade. You need to do two to three dribble moves and it'll pop up every time after you shoot. And if you want it to pop up every time, shoot a fade and green it. Simple. All right. So I already have Agent 3s cored, but pretty much the easiest way to core Agent 3s is going to be to just run and fade. All right. Now, I like to do multiple badges at one time, which is why you see me dribbling out the stamina bar and then letting it replenish because i have takeover and i just literally run up the handles for days in the top right make it pop up multiple times per possession before i run and shoot the fade that's how i core multiple badges at one time so instead of just running down and fading and i'm only working on agent threes i'm working on two badges at one time so i'm knocking out two birds with one stone so i'm dribbling and dribbling and dribbling and i'm trying to get handles for days to pop up at least two to three times minimum so on average i'm getting it four times a lot of times I'm getting it four times, which is what's going to core the badge faster than any other badge. Then I run and shoot the fade when the shot clock is going to run out. Now, you can have on any takeover and you'll stop and replenish. I think even on sharp, it'll work. You know, do you see it pops up three times right there for me? All right. Handles for days popped up three times in one possession. That's just one possession. So pretty much you just got three possessions in one. That's the only badge you can get this with other than like an anchor or a bronze or even like a quick first step. And those are the badges that are the easiest to core stuff like this badges that like agent threes and limitless and and poster it requires you to score for it to pop up so it's only going to be able to be done once per possession but you see right there it pops up um several times again and by doing this it enables me to core the badge and core other badges as well so i'm knocking out all the grind easily right and while I'm doing this, I'm getting other badges core that are not even what I'm not even working on. Like, look for this instance right here. I got max playmaking badges. Boom. Real easy. See, I got 11,000 points for that game. That's more than you get in a park game. 
and you see what look i'm not saying every build get the same you see i cored rebound chaser i wasn't even trying to do that but this is the best thing to do when you want to core badges is hop on this court right here for a few hours if the bread as them are not on and you don't have nobody to run with you don't want to run with no randoms because we don't do that you see i already have agent threes cord handles for days is what i'm working on right now don't mind the badge setup this is the badge setup for what i use since i have a low pass accuracy right now but you see right there i'm pretty much right there to core it on silver and i'm pretty much going to core it in this video and show you guys how i did it once again but i run those bad setups when i literally don't have a good pass accuracy and i'm running double takeover for playmaking because i want my teammates to finish everything so whatever badge i'm working on i try to work you know with that so i just got playmaking badges max i forgot to put the sharp badges on but you know what i'm just showing you guys pre-recorded what i do because it's best to show you me doing it in the moment rather than me literally you know trying to explain to you i'm trying to show you what i did literal proof on this new build that i made literally the day i dropped the recent one for y'all <laughs> the, the other six four all right so this is the new six four and it's gonna be a mess man to, i already brought it out a few times and i was dunking on people already and shooting from half court shooting fades but right now i'm working on hondas for days in this little section right here all right but i was also trying to show you guys how to get the agent threes once again in case that wasn't enough for you look i'm doing the same thing again there's this is literally the, the game right after it i'm just dribbling and dribbling and dribbling and i'm literally shooting it at the end and i'm sitting in the pain if they make it they make it if not i grab the rebound if they come in the pain i'm holding hands up and jumping right on time anticipating when they go up so i can get anchor cord which i already have cord now you see how my stamina is already drained let it replenish a little bit then i start dribbling again and you see handles for days is getting spammed right and then i try to go ahead and shoot the shot and i popped up three times right there in just that one possession now i'm at takeover and you know what takeover mean it means i can't get it to pop up four to five to six times because the stamina replenished so fast and you see right now i'm getting the anchor that's how you call anchor so hold hands up and jump and, and anticipate the block all right get the block or get the stop so boom we got takeover we're getting some sloppy dribbling real quick so we recuperate and we are dribbling we are speed up the dribbling boom right draining the stamina we have to go let it replenish now right i'm still dribbling you know sometimes you forget <laughs> let it replenish boom you see how fast it replenish dribble again now if you want to get it even faster because i'm just a lot of times when i'm in here i'm also practicing some combos so right there it popped up for me two times i really wasn't if you really wanted to pop up get your stamina to drain actually it popped up four times wow so if you want your stamina to drain fast drain it halfway let it fill up drain it again close to halfway let it fill up and keep doing that in one possession until the shot clock run out right and then go ahead and shoot the ball whether you make the shot or not your handles for days is gonna still pop up all right so right here it's already a halfway that's where i need to stop dribbling don't be like yaman gaming that's trying to go you know practice dribble moves and combos and stuff like that you want to come in here and you want to make sure you grind and don't waste no time i already know i'm gonna get these badges this is my job i already know i'm gonna get these badges eventually you don't have time to waste most likely unless you are a youtuber a content creator a streamer you don't have no time to waste so dribble until the half court um at the half court line and wait till the stamina is all the way down when this thing you see that you don't want to do that all right dribble behind the line because they're going to triple team you if they start triple teaming you you need to run to the other three-point line and they will leave you alone all right if they don't leave you alone run to the other free throw line and they'll leave you alone but when you get up in this court don't waste no time because you don't have time to waste so dribble when it dropped to half you know halfway around literally right here boom let it replenish let it replenish see that boom and you need to do this quicker than i'm doing it as soon as you see it because i'm practicing combos while i was showing you guys how to get it so as soon as you see it drop halfway let it replenish then dribble again and get it close to halfway let it replenish so you see right there it popped up three times almost four times again that's one possession amounting to literally three times right so that's pretty much three possessions right there in one you want to keep doing this you see right now i've already drained it all the way i don't have takeover anymore so it's not going to replenish fast don't matter we're just going to end the game and get it over with quick so boom we only got what eight thousand for that game 
and you know we're close to that 95 at the time we were close to the 95 we got 358 vc within corny badges but we go look at the progression and we see that look one, wait 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 we'll see that we moved up closer literally to one game away from gold hands for days being cored and that's what we're about to do right now so i went into another game at the time because i know this was going to be the final game to core hands for days on gold now i know i only needed a few possessions with it because i'm getting multiple core progression per possession right so i know i didn't need to do it the whole game so i literally was doing other things as well but obviously i wanted to dribble and get the hands for days to pop up more than one time per possession so i wait till it builds up again and start dribbling again as you can clearly see right there it popped up again that's twice already in the first possession and then i ran and shot the ball make or not it's gonna count towards your handles for days progression so don't worry even if you lose the game even if you don't make the shot your handles for days progression is still gonna go up in order to have the agent threes progression go up you need to make the shot it's just that simple make the shot and it's gonna core it all right it has to pop up if it doesn't pop up in the top right you see quick first step on handles for days is gonna be the easiest things to core for playmaking just because you can do it multiple times per possession now i can show you guys how to core limitless range right now so to core limitless range you need to shoot around where the eyes are for the lion every single possession and it's going to be easier like right there you see that even though i'm not directly on the eyes i'm on the line of that all right and to make it easier for you run the double limitless takeover badge and it's going to be super easy even without takeover to shoot from back there I'm talking about I could core that badge with a 75 three ball because that's really what I did to get badges fast. And once I was able to get at least a bronze agent threes, even though you can shoot fades without agent threes on this court is super easy. Trust me, super easy can be done. This is another easy badge to grind for all the six nines that have agent threes as a tier two and your tier three is limitless range. This is what you're going to be doing is shooting from back there around that area or behind the line run that double limitless takeover and make sure that your badges are set up pretty decently like a green machine make sure it's on the highest one you see limitless range pop up in the right corner again you want to make sure it pop up every single time put that volume shooter on everything that's going to make it even easier for you to shoot back here start shooting from back here when i'm on my guard bills i'm shooting from behind the line even without takeover because this court is so easy it's pretty much rookie difficulty but guess what it's giving you same progression as part so that's how you core all these badges after this game i knew i was gonna have handles for days cord but i also snuck in a couple progression for limitless range limitless range is important for a six nine because once you get that it opens up so much badge points where you can put on a gold blinders if you don't have all the badges already you can put on all these other badges and and make your shooting even more overpowered so now you know how to core limitless range as well but watch this watch this we just finished the game pre this we'll go to the my points got 7,000, close to 95 handles for days is be able to core on silver now we're going to be able to get it on gold easily which by the time you're watching this video i pretty much already have it on gold and i'm pretty much already core and limitless takeoff because y'all know how we do it man we grind right i see the badge count on this new build i'm not gonna lie this build is, is something serious fam it's something serious i have hundreds for days cored already on silver but in order to core it on gold you can't core it on silver you gotta let it sit where it's at right now so this is what i'm doing to core it by the time you're watching this video as i said it's already cored now agent threes is already cored for me limitless takeoff will be the next thing i core anyways hope you all have a blessed new year be safe go and tackle all of the goals them tackle all of your goals you know show up to every single one of them don't just do what everybody does and fall off two weeks to a month later show up the whole year and you'll be surprised what your life can be like a year from now now it's time to show you guys how to core the badges needed on the tier three for a six nine so obviously tier three for six nines are poster you guys already have the greatest finishing badge as a tier two. You don't even need to core it. And I almost have a core without even trying to core it. That's how easy it is. You also have a tier three badge as a tier one badge. It's crazy, right? You're gonna have the ability to run poster as long as you have the necessary badges. 18, I have 18, I got enough, right? But I will say this, if I was to core poster, I can go ahead 
and run some other badges too to make it more op but since i play a certain play style i don't need to core it on this build now on this build right here tier three is limitless range and you're gonna need to core limitless range i haven't tried to core it yet because i have all the necessary badges i need already yeah i pretty much have all the badges i need that that would just enable me to get gold blinders handles for days still the number one go-to i showed you how to court it you know limitless range i'm gonna show you guys how to court right now let me just make the jump shot for you guys already you know it's it's the number one jump shot out there for bigs right now look it up man hey we did our thing with that video so go ahead and use this jump shot right here for this badge method if you want to core limitless range fast go ahead and use this jump shot right here limitless we're going to name it limitless limitless time limitless time limitless why all right now typically i like to start the game off by shooting a regular shot and getting some takeover to make it even easier to get this badge all right because it is easy to shoot from back there on this this court but guess what it's even easier if you got a green in right so get a green in like you see right there i just got a green in, right now to core limitless takeoff all i'm gonna do is hop back and shoot it that's it now i got takeover now for you you're not gonna have takeover because you probably don't have accelerator but if you have accelerator run the takeover bro now to core anchor all i'm doing is i'm baiting them to come to the paint and i'll usually get the rebound now same thing again if you don't know how to dribble drop it watch the dribble tutorial shoot it from back here every time I missed it right there, but that's where you're going to want to shoot. Do a step back and shoot it. Now, I'm going to be simple with it. So for the purpose of this video, see with this is so easy to core anchor, bro. Even if they make it, it's going to pop up and you're going to core that and you're going to core rebound chase everything, right? Like I'm showing you anchor and limitless range right now. All right. So for limitless range, do a whoopty, hop back. You can shoot it from anywhere. I'm telling you, it don't matter if it's from with this jump shot. You can shoot it from anywhere, bro. And it's going to pop up in the top right this is the key if you don't see it pop up in the top right even though it's delayed right now it's just putting anchor up there and even though it's a couple possessions late you're gonna see limitless range pop up right this is what you want to do every time you want to see limitless range pop up right limitless range needs to pop up you see it popped up right there in the top right as i got the block i'm gonna double team me without takeover that's not limitless range i don't think that's limitless range you need to be on the line i think man around that area let's see if it's limitless range it should pop up right now maybe it is oh it is limitless range so you can get away from shooting a little bit above the line it's pretty much shoot from back here though let me show you again from back there all right you're gonna get that green shot release and let's see limitless range popped up again that's what you're gonna wanna do to core limitless range for the 6'9 T Rex them with the baby arm them. So I'm gonna need y'all to run me that like button. Run up the like button for your brother, man. This is a new year, start the new year right. Start the new year right. Let me hold a like, man, because you know I put this time and effort in for y'all. And not only that, I drop all the secrets for y'all that a lot of people don't want y'all to know. And not only that, I'm one of the last existing creators over here on Next Gen trying to hold it down for y'all. All right. With that being said, hope y'all have a blessed new year. Hope y'all enjoy the day. Be safe. There's a lot of crazy people out there. Be safe. Be smart. Hopefully this year has a lot of blessings for you. All right. With that being said, big up on yourself. We're gone. My GVO family, what better way to start the new year off than with almost a 30 minute video with nothing but explanation and the best information for the GVO family. Make sure you spread the information. Make sure you show some love to the video. I got a lot more bangers for y'all this year, man. I'm not going nowhere. I got y'all locked in with entertainment and information and all the good stuff and all the jump shots and the dribble moves, them and the entertaining videos. I got y'all, man. Anyways, lock in for the new year. Big up on yourself. Big Lord Almighty. We can't do nothing. Do you want to know the thing? Yeah, I'm going to give him a gun.